Welcome to the channel and welcome as we take you on a trip with us to Bordeaux, France as we go to Chateau Pepe Clemente, winery and castle. Hit that subscribe. Let's get going. Now let's walk inside and take you on a little tour like we were taking when we first arrived, which I could not believe. They had Stradivarius violins. I mean, you're as a hotel guest, you can browse and peruse all of the antiques that are just throughout the rooms in the castle, just laid for your enjoyment. The owner is an avid musical and art collector. So you will see works of art, you will see instruments. Uh, he even had, besides the violins, a piano from the 1800s. So enjoy, take a look. I couldn't believe the things that were just laid out for us to enjoy, which also included two parchments written and authenticated by Napoleon Bonaparte. We learned that the family originally that owned the winery and the land back in the 1800s uh, were descendants and the owner was a actual pope in those days. So you are going to find the entire chateau filled with Catholic remnants and all types of, I mean from robes to the communion cups to when we take you into the winery in a few minutes all kinds of artifacts from the Catholic Church but he also is like I said an art collector and so he loves art from all over the world he has wineries in 40 different countries and brings back art from all of those countries so we got to enjoy some beautiful art from all over the world even a moving live art installation that he had just had placed on the wall so when you see the rolling water and you think is that my imagination it is not it is moving art Now the castle holds four rooms and two suites for your enjoyment and staying pleasure up here on the second floor. Uh, four regular rooms and then two grand suites, the Pope suite and then the close suite, this is ours, Close de Songe, 506 square feet. Absolutely beautiful. We got a amazing deal that included all of this on TravelZoo.com. So like I always say, hit those specials up. They are worth it. There was antiques and just beautiful things all through our rooms. We had three gorgeous open windows. They showed all of the property surrounding us. I mean, we had bone china for our coffee and our tea, Baccarat crystal chandelier, and gorgeous, gorgeous silver silverware in there. They spared no expense. It was definitely a stay of a lifetime. And one of the things that I really loved, and it just gave it a touch of class, 24-hour concierge that was there to assist you with anything you needed, whether it was getting a car, getting shuttled back and forth from the gate, uh, getting you to your breakfast um, reservations or dinner reservations. They were there to help and to guide us, to take us for a tour, make sure we made our wine tour 
on time. And now it's time to take a little look at the property before we get on with our wine tour and tasting. Now the wine store is right there on property, so if you were to indulge in a gorgeous bottle of wine, come up here. Enjoy that beautiful upstairs patio and enjoy that wine while you look out at the multiple hectares that are all owned by this winery and just take up the beauty of the surroundings. I mean, it was gorgeous up there. We had a lovely day. It was about 68 degrees. The sun was out. It was a great day for a gorgeous, crisp, white wine. And this small building to the left actually was re-put re here, but it is one of the original buildings where they put together the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. He had it brought and put onto the winery. So that was a gorgeous thing to go and look at. It was little things like this. Um, the olive trees that surrounded, there were some that were over 2,000 years old, planted by the original owners back in the 1800s. Things like this made this stay just so historic and worth the trip. Now let's get on to our wine tour as our guide takes us for an hour all around and ends here with our tasting. Put it Chateau Pape Clément because it means Pope Clement. So the Pope actually lived here right after his election in 1305. He was very passionate about the wine. So We were given a history lesson on the multiple owners and the new current owner, and we were taken through the entire process of winemaking with some of the historic artifacts that are still kept here, and took it into the vat room, into the cask room, and like I said, collectible art was just everywhere. It was gorgeous. We had an amazing time. There's the big guy. and. I just couldn't get over the beauty of the Catholic artifacts that were just all over for us to marvel at.
So we got to end where we started and try three of the wines, one of which retails for $150. So it was worth it. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, hit that subscribe, hit that notification, and hit that thumbs up. And we will see you on the next video.